Hi there everyone, it's uh, Stream of Hope and I'm on today. My subject today is about the Gazoo Farm and the lynch mob. A few years ago, out in Didsbury, Alberta, there was a situation where a young boy, about 15, 16 years of age, and his buddy went and got drunk one night. And when they got drunk, they made some terrible, terrible choices. They did some really nasty things to a dog, their dog, and the dog eventually died. And um, because of what this boy decided to do that night, his family literally got destroyed. Destroyed in the way of that they couldn't go out into their community, they were kept in their home. They couldn't go out. They couldn't talk with people within our community community because they were too much into the lynch mob. Um, people going there in the middle of the night and shooting gunfire through their bay window in the front of their home. That sort of stuff. Who needs to deal with that? Who is it that thinks they're so flippin' important and powerful that they have a right to do that to another human being. I don't get this, eh? Over a young person making a stupid mistake. And now we have the Gazoo Farm. And there's some photo photographer, Nick Burgess, out east in New Brunswick, that's on his first crusade to save animals. And you know, I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is when we put so much importance on these animals above the humans and their lives. That's sickening, you guys. That's absolutely disgusting. And these animal activists that are talking about this, that are calling Lynn's family out at the Gazoo Farm. They're calling them and threatening their lives. Tell them they're going to come out there and save the animals and kill them. I mean, come on, people. Get a life. You guys have got way too much time on your hands to be creating this kind of garbage. You know, are you not seeing what's going on in the rest of the world? The stuff that's happening in Japan. The people that have died through that. And that's not over. This radi radiation thing isn't over. Or what about this stuff in Libya? Or the people in Africa? The kids that are dying left, right, and center from famine. Not having any food. Not having any medicine. Not having any water. You know, there's so many more important things out there to be putting this energy towards than here. Here. And destroying people's lives. And that's what I want all of you guys to be thinking about, eh? Really. To watch somebody's lives get destroyed. Over animals. It'd be different if this guy was literally abusing these animals, eh? And I don't get how people can see a few pictures and they know everything about the kazoo farm. You know, come on. It doesn't work like that. I don't know nothing in life that works like that, that it's so black and white. The only thing that's black and white is there's a God and we are not him, eh? I don't get why people are trying to do this to other people. Destroy people's lives. Literally. All because they think they have a right to. You know, there's children getting abused in this world every day. In this country alone. Did you know, and this is not the correct st statistic. It's way worse than this about what I'm about to say. But just think about it for a second. One child in Canada every day 
gets abused or killed. Yeah, I don't see these activists coming around to fight for the children, eh? In our country, did you know we've got Secretary's Day? We got Grandparents' Day. We've got Mother's Day. We got Father's Day. We got April Fool's Day. We even got Groundhog's Day. But where is National Child's Day? It's not on our calendars for November 20th. Not in Canada, it ain't. What about those kind of issues? You people have so much to offer that's involved in this kazoo farm thing. You guys have so much to offer. You're such an incredible strength. But put it somewhere else where it's not destroying people's lives. How, put in, how about trying to help put people's families together? Bring them together and loving each other and caring about each other. And I'm not talking out of my butt about, you know, oh, rose-colored glasses and la-di-da, oh, isn't everything just fine, lovely, da-da-da, bullshit. Everything ain't fine. It ain't never been fine. This is life. And shit happens in it, eh? But to put an animal's life above a human being's life. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. And I bring God into it because God is the one. That's my belief. Jesus came here and died on that cross for each and every one of our sins. Past, present, and future sins. And the ones that deny it, I'm sorry and I feel very, very sad for you. Because guess what? It's not the truth. You know, and people are going to say, oh, what proof do you have? This, that, and the other. Well, there's a hell of a lot more proof out there about Jesus Christ and God than there is about anything else that people bring up to fight against God. Witchcraft. Pagans. All of it. It all comes from Christianity, eh? It all comes from God. It started way back when. When the church broke up. And this is what we ended up with. Well, you know, I don't care what you are or how you live your lives. You know, to each his own. I've done my own, my fair share of stuff. And I sure the hell don't want to judge anybody else for their stuff. All I'm asking is that you rise above the negativity and you really truly see what really is going on there with that kazoo farm. And not to form a lynch mob to destroy this family because that's what's going on. When people's lives are being threatened. You know, that farm got over 300 death threats yesterday, eh? Over 300! The reason why they started this kazoo farm was to stop deaths happening to these animals and giving them a place to live and to be happy. That's all this family's been trying to do with these families. Or with these animals, I mean. That's all they're trying to do. And they get community support. All around here for a hundred miles, we all try to help. Because that's what it's all about. And you guys are going and taking it and totally destroying it. Because you think you're right over some pictures, eh? Have you not ever heard the word or the saying? Picture holds a thousand words. Well, you've only got a few hundred, eh? There's so many more words out there about this story, about this situation. And I think 
I think that we can pull together to make it different, to make it positive. Hey, instead of being part of the problem, why don't you become part of the solution? Have you donated to the Gazoo Farm there, Nick Bridges, Burgess, or whatever the heck your last name is? Have you given any money to them to help them with what they're doing? Have you checked to see what they're doing there, why they're doing it? Have you talked to them? Because they're a really nice family, eh? And all they look for is some help. Everybody deserves help. You've made that perfectly clear with this animal thing. Why can you not pull together and help this place? If you think, see things that need to be changed, then why don't you help them to change it instead of being so negative? Because what you're doing, you're going to destroy them, eh? And that's wrong. And with your awesome, your awesome responsibility that you've put yourself in there, Nick, with that responsibility comes all of this. And you need to think about that, Nick. You need to think about what your actions are going to do to these people. Because you're putting more importance in these animals than you are in human life. And that is wrong. You need to take a look at it. Take your stuff that you're so good at and put it onto something positive. Like making a difference for the children. Go check it out, Nick. There's not one day. Oh, we've got family day. Which is nowhere near November 20th. Did you know that? In our country, we adopted it back in 1959. November 20th to be exact. We adopted the United Nations Rights of the Children, eh? But they don't even have a spot on our calendar. Hell, we don't even have major celebrations for that day. The day that we need to be listening and paying attention so that we can be there for all the children in Canada. No, there's nothing there. The odd thing on the computer, the odd thing on the government pages. But yet you see this time being wasted. And it's not right to choose an animal's well-being and life over another person's life, over another person's entire life. I'm sorry. But that is wrong! Grab a flippin' brain! Oh my goodness. I apologize for cursing earlier. I just, I watched that one family and what they went through and the terror that they experienced and the fear that they must have felt. All because these teenagers got drunk one night and made some stupid mistakes, made some stupid choices. Who has not done that? Who has not made stupid choices when they're drunk? I mean, each and every person on this earth has skeletons of some sort. Every person on this earth has felt ashamed or bad about doing something. You know, what makes these families any different than anybody else? Because some person by the name of Nick Burgess went on there and posted a bunch of flipping pictures without any explanation other than what he thinks. No, this is wrong. You know, I come forward and I state to you, while your 